Hey, Internet friend, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe, the Synergy Collaborative, and magicbrad.tv. And I have James and Steph on here, and there they, not Steph on, but Steph on here. <laughs> How are you guys doing? We're good. We're good. Thanks. Thanks for having us on, Brad. Where, what part of the world are you in? Right now we're in Salt Lake City, Utah. I know where that is. That's beautiful there. I drove from, I live in Minneapolis, and I had a project in LA and I had to drive down there all that places and you get to that place where there's only one gas station and you're on E and <laughs> but yeah. I, I survived. Here, yeah, how long have you been there? I've lived here my whole life. James is from California and he came here about 20 years ago. Okay. Are you guys married? Got kids or what? what are you we just, are just kids, yes. Okay. So we, have, we have five kids. We're married. Happily married with five children. There you go. My wife has one. I don't have any, but uh, he's on and grown up, and we got a little dog, a little fur baby. <laughs> we have fur babies, too. <laughs> what kind of dog do you have? What's that? What kind of dog do you have? Oh, it's a mix of a corgi and a chihuahua, so it's kind of got them short legs and the big ears. And, and he's... So vicious is what you're telling me. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like an vicious attack dog. He's very funny. I was sitting on the couch. I crossed my legs. I was watching television. He comes and he scoots up in the corner and he crosses his legs and stares at me. I thought, yeah. <laughs> very weird. So when I saw this thing come in through the email from you guys with that perception word of your, uh, your movie and things, that, that caught me right away because of my magical background and I'm a lot about the shifting of perception. In fact, I'll show you one right here. See these two fingers the same size from your yeah. point of view? That one's the same size. From my point of view, that one's longer than that one. Isn't that weird? Wow. It's That's all cool. perception, right? That's it's, right? It's like Matrix, the blue pill, the red pill. It depends on how you look at it. So could you tell me a little bit about this movie? I did get to see the, the trailer for it and everything, and it uh, is pretty interesting because you talk about situations where people are like under depression and suicide and things like that. And I know from my shifting of perception that you can change a person's mind drastically just with a few other pieces of inputs. You could, could you share a little bit about what got you guys interested in creating this movie? Well, really it came from our backgrounds that we, so Steph and I came from pretty rough beginnings and backgrounds and, you know, we had a pretty rough life prior to meeting each other. What we wanted to demonstrate, so let me back up. So when we met each other, we decided we were going to rebuild our lives completely and we were going to figure out what the creative elements of building your life is. And when it was all said and done, we landed on perception. You know, as we shifted our perception of ourselves and of the world around us, everything started to change. And what we discovered is that what you feel on the inside, you see on the outside. And that's what dictates perception. So what we were trying to demonstrate by filming this movie is that what you see is not reality. It's your construct of what you think reality is. So seeing is not believing. But essentially what we're trying to show by telling our stories in it is that everybody's on a path to somewhere. Without, you know, something intervening, you're going to land wherever you're destined to be, for lack of a better term. Mm -hmm. And so with our traumatic childhoods, because we didn't get the help we needed, we were literally on a path to destruction, and then we showed how that path played out to show that it was all a consequence of what we believed about ourselves. Sure. And when you shift what you believe about yourselves, everything changes. Well, it's like if you're on a path to say, I'm going to California, at least I think I'm going to California because it looks like I'm going to California, and I find out I'm going to Miami, <laughs> you don't end up in that same destiny or destination, right? Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's that's the common mistake is that there are no surprises in life. I mean, you can literally calculate your current life path in di several different areas. You can look at your money and, and calculate it like, where will I be from a year from now if the current pattern continues? Same with health, relationships, your job. I mean, are things getting more negative or more positive? And so we spend a lot of time lying to ourselves about where we're going to end up. And our, our movie and our story is to kind of cast a light on the fact that we got to stop lying to ourselves. What do you believe? The evidence is everywhere. It is your life. And that's the evidence. 
Yeah, it's kind of, I call it like algebra because you just put the sum total of where you want to be and then you start putting the things in place. So I use a process I call GOSPA, which is Goal, Objective, Strategy, Plan, and Action. So if you know the goal, you know where you're going, then you can put the things in place. But if you start just stepping forward with whatever you believe, it's possible that you're not going to get to where you want to be because that's just a want. It's not the, the perceived reality. Is that on track there? Yeah, that's, well, that's exactly it, is that we don't see reality. So, you know, people are constantly deluding themselves. It's like, you know, you watch somebody who smokes for 30 years, and then they're shocked when they get cancer, yeah. right? Or, you know, they eat badly their whole life, and they're shocked, shocked when they get the heart disease. There are no surprises in life, right? Things are only a natural consequences of the actions you've taken to that point. Exactly. So uh, do, you, do you have a, a book, too, and this movie? Thing we is, do. The book releases in about two weeks. Okay, cool. And one of the really interesting parts, and I want to kick this over to Steph a little bit, because a big part of everything that we do is that we tell our stories. And the reason we tell our stories is because we want everybody out there to realize that they're not alone, right? That people go through traumas all the, all the time. And Steph, for instance, had, you know, had had come overcome some huge traumas to get what she is. And so have I. And so there's a lot of power in telling that story. So in the movie, we tell the stories, plus we tell the science of perception. And then in the book, we tell a lot more detailed version of the stories. Well, I think part of that, just telling the story is it almost uh, releases you from the possible shame that you might have. Like when I had my DWI situations, you know, I felt really bad about it, like, oh my God, I'm a drunk, I'm an alcoholic, and all the stuff they tell you, you're an alcoholic, and then when all of a sudden I decided, fuck it, I quit, and I just quit drinking, and now, whatever, you know, it's, I feel more comfortable saying my story, and I feel more comfortable in my life because of it, rather than hiding stuff or being in denial, right? What do you think about telling your story? Oh, it was awful. <laughs> <laughs> So when we put on our, we also put on events. So when we put on our first event, James said, hey, I have an idea. Let's film our stories and tie it with the speaker's content and we'll, you know, have a major shift for the audience and show them, you know, they're not alone. Everyone has a story. And I was like, that's a terrible idea. Why are we doing this? <laughs> because, I mean, our stories are something that we hid from our whole entire lives until we met each other. I never told anyone that I was sexually abused or... You know, I, my mom did know about my suicide attempt, but I mean, it wasn't something I went around advertising and, until I met James and I heard his story. I, I finally realized that it was okay to tell somebody my story and share that because he's, you know, had a similar experience, very different, but also traumatic. And so when we decided to film our stories, I mean, it was awful. I was crying. I was throwing up. I was scared. And I think a lot of people are like that, you know, and you need to know that you're not alone in it. You know, you're not the only one that has tragedies that they go through and, and sadness. And I think the, the world is so concerned about what everyone else thinks and feels that they don't get to live their life the way that they should because of that. So and they, there's the ripple it, effect of that, too, when you tell that story of the other people yeah. that are the ripple effect for it. It's wonderful. Well, when we did... When we did tell the story, you know, and we came out with the at the event with it, you know, we talked to hundreds and hundreds of people that said, you gave me permission to tell my story. I'm not alone in this. And I thought <clears throat> that was incredible that we could touch so many lives just by us being vulnerable. Sure. And, and now you're doing it with the book and the movie, getting it out. You know, it, what's interesting to me about the whole internet thing is now the world can access your stories 24-7 anytime right. they want. That's very powerful. They don't have to just wait for an event date at a specific city. No. It's out to anybody. It. Well, and that's what I think is important for people to understand is they're not alone, right? It is. Everybody it's very important. Right? And there is a way out. And you see, when you watch the movie or you read our book and you see that that we went, I mean, just let's be clear, we, we take ourselves from the most dramatic childhood experiences you can imagine to being multimillionaires, right? And so we met just after Steph had a brutal suicide attempt and I got out of jail and that's when we met. 
you know. Yeah. Mine was about four years after, and yours was about two years after. Right, and so that's when we met, and it was like, okay, we're going to rebuild our lives. We're going to figure out what dictates how we create our lives. But you know, one of the things that the movie really does is it shows people that it doesn't matter how far gone you think your life is, or how bad things got for you is that you always have hope and that you can rebuild and we give you all the principles that you need to rebuild your life. And we really literally expose, you know, and teach people the two concepts that dictate everything, which are perception and emotions. You know, that's what our whole stories are about is, is teaching people how to understand their perceptions and shift those perceptions and think differently, just like you showed us with your hand. And then we, we tell them the purpose and the meaning and how to leverage their emotions for massive growth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because um, a lot of times people don't change till they hit that proverbial hit bottom kind of thing. The thing is, you have no idea where the bottom is. It's very, 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 very far down. So you can keep on going until you, if you did decide to pull the plug or something, that's when the bottom is there. But if you can turn it around and triggering emotions, that is what it this is all about. I remember when I had that situation, I was like bawling like a little baby curled up in the corner because it was oh. traumatic for me when it happened. I thought, oh, I feel so much shame and everything. And it, it's a bunch of other emotional stuff that, that leads a person to start consuming alcohol or abusing themselves or allowing themselves to be abused or whatever. And we talk a lot about that, how to deal with emotions, you know, where emotions live, how to address them, how to go into your past and imprint new emotions on old experiences so that in the future, those experiences won't wreak havoc as your perception uses those experiences to dictate your current situation. And so there's a lot of content in there that, that people can really leverage off of and go, hey, it doesn't matter where I started, I can do anything. Beyond the book and the movie, do you still do live events and you do like one-on-one -on -one coaching or group coaching or anything like that? Yeah, so we have a, a right now, our next event is a women's event. And it's in February here in Salt Lake City, February 8th. So it's Powerful Women. And so we do what we call the Powerful You Experience events. We don't have one on the calendar right now, but we're looking at a couple dates. And then we also have a coaching program we're just launching on our website. We have an assessment called Perception Sketch that will teach you if you're stuck, where you're stuck, and what beliefs you need to shift to move forward. Um, so we're, we're teaming up with a bunch of influencers right now to kind of launch, not to kind of launch, but to launch a subscription service for personal development, mm -hmm. which is, you know, a lot of online content in one place on a single platform looked at, geared at moving your life forward. So we have a lot of stuff if you visit our website, powerful-theletteru.com. Yeah, so let's get that down. I don't like to do these too long because people have busy lives and stuff. So I want them to be able, if they're interested in what this is, how to find you and connect with you. So it's, it's what's the website again? Powerful Life? Powerful-U. It's the letter U dot com. Okay, so just Powerful-U, right? Mm-hmm. Dot com. Well, that's easy enough to remember. They can buy the movie. They can buy the book. You know, they can look at the assessment. They can do all the stuff they want. Check out our events. You just got to remember the word Powerful. And a dash and a you dot com. Right. You got it. We With own those... powerful dash y o u too. So if they, if they forget the you, we're going to be okay. Don't go right on our website. Well, that's what you got to do. You got to cover all the bases. Yeah, that's true. Well, I'm going to wrap this up and put it in the can and propagate out to the universe so people can find it. And um, if you want to stay on, we'll have another more chat. But I'm just going to wrap this one up. And I appreciate you taking the time to be on Synergy Cafe. And uh, if you will share this also, that's how it all works. You scratch my back, I scratch yours, and we tell the world. We appreciate okay. you, if you, If you send us a video, we'll share it like crazy. Thank you okay. so much. Okay, thanks, James. Thanks, Steph. Peace.